And we're following multiple fires burning right now near the Altamont Pass as drivers are heading home after work. This is video from the last 10 minutes as crews are battling a fire in the hills closer to Livermore. And on the other side of the Altamont Pass, a grass fire broke out late this afternoon near Interstate 580. You can see the burn scar there that that fire created. Good evening, I'm Edie Lambert. And I'm Ty Steele. Thanks for being with us at 6. The fire happened west of Tracy near the Altamont Pass Wind Farm substation. That's a pg and &E facility. It has burned more than 95 acres right now and is 50% contained according to Cal Fire. And uh, it's close to the fire that forced evacuations in San Joaquin County this weekend. Okay, so we are working to get a live shot from this scene, which is uh, we're having a technical issue at the very moment, but we want to check in with Tamara Berg. Thank you for filling in for Mark this week. And what are the winds doing out there? Yeah, it's been a gusty day there. We've had winds that have been coming on shore. We've been seeing this really within the last 24 to 48 hours in this specific area. And this fire burning right now, it's the Patterson fire, and it is burning in Alameda County. And so far, we've been noticing winds gusting 25 to 30. And again, it's been that onshore wind that's been are really coming through this area for the last really 24 to 48 hours. You also notice what's uh, really not so close for comfort is that folks that maybe live in this area, maybe in the Livermore or the Tracy area, even Manteca may have seen some plumes of smoke come off of that Patterson fire. You also have to keep in mind that just a couple of miles down the road, you have the burn scar from the Corral fire that of course yesterday uh, really got pushed around because of that onshore wind. Now the good news is in the next couple of hours that breeze is really Really going to die down, but then we've got the stage set, especially going through the day tomorrow with a north wind. So a shift in the wind is going to bring some heat to Northern California. Again, elevating the fire danger concerns. I'll have more on that forecast for you coming up in a bit. Back to you. All right, Tamara, thank you. And right now, all evacuations have been lifted after a fire spark this weekend in San Joaquin County. You can see the major changes from Saturday to today in this video. The fire jumped Interstate 580 just south of Tracy, the Tracy Triangle, shutting down the freeway for more than 24 hours. Yeah, firefighters have worked hard to gain containment on this fire. Here's the latest update. They now have a line around about 75% of it. This fire burned more than 14,000 acres. From Live Copter 3, you can see an exclusive look there at the damage from the fire. The hillsides are charred and one home is destroyed. And we'll be seeing a higher risk for fires over the next couple of days. That's right. As Tamara was mentioning, a strong north wind and triple digit heat will make conditions very challenging for firefighters across the region. There's so many things. Throwing a lit cigarette out the window, you should never do that. There's so many ways that a fire can start, especially when it's hot, um, that if people just make better decisions, uh, we can really minimize the number of fires that we have this summer. And we have team coverage tonight on the increased fire danger. Andrea Flores checking in with the fire crews. Meteorologist Tamara Berg is tracking the wind. But tonight we start with KCRA3's Michelle Bandur, who saw the impact firsthand in San Joaquin County. A close up look at the devastation of the Corral fire. They saw it coming, but they didn't, they weren't aware of how fast it was moving. Travis Curtis says his elderly parents grabbed their two dogs and turtle when the sheriff knocked on their door with evacuation orders Saturday evening. As they were pulling out, they could see that the, the barn was going up. The fire burned through this field behind the Curtis's property and then made contact here. This is where the barn used to be. The flames caught the barn on fire and then just spread through the rest of the property. And the wind just pushed it, all the embers over and it just carried through the house. When the wind comes along, it can kick up embers and blow them over the containment line, which you never want. Um, but that's why that's why we're still here. Cal Fire has pulled back some resources, but crews are still working to catch the hot spots, especially before the 100 degree temperature days arrive this week. The biggest concern is that we're going to have a heat wave and that uh, a lot of fires are human caused throughout California. So we just want people to make good decisions. Cal Fire is concerned another fire could start and warns people to be careful, not careless. That means that we have the power to control how this wildfire year will go and this summer will go. The cause of the Corral fire has yet to be discovered and now the Curtises have to figure out how to move on at this stage in their lives. Nobody wants to see their parents in this kind of a situation. You know, nobody wants to see their parents technically homeless right now. That, 75 and 84 years old, you know, it, it's um, it's heartbreaking in San Joaquin County, Michelle Bandur.
KCRA 3 News. And with the increased fire danger tomorrow, let's check in with meteorologist Tamara Berg right now with what those winds are doing. Yeah, you know, winds have been steady and strong today, and they've been an onshore wind. That's been wind coming up out of the west to southwest, and you can clearly see here as you look at these wind uh, barbs going through that most of that wind, again, coming from the west to the southwest. And we've been noticing that that onshore wind, along with some scattered clouds throughout the day ahead, has really helped keep temperatures closer to average and in the 80s, especially in the afternoon. But we know here in Northern California that just a minor shift in the wind can really uh, help to drive temperatures up, and that's exactly what we're going to be going into within the next 24 hours. So watch the winds as we go through the overnight. We'll still have a slight push of the onshore breeze, but then that north wind just files right down the valley floor first thing tomorrow morning. And look at this by nine o'clock tomorrow morning. We're looking at temperatures around Sacramento already pushing into the 80s, and that north wind just stays with us through the afternoon really ushering in a very hot forecast for tomorrow. So of course the fire danger is going to be elevated. It's a north winds, a drying wind, and you also have the concern that it's going to heat up. So after a day where we've been basking guys in the yeah. 80s, which is average, right. 101 to 105 tomorrow is going to be a big change for folks. And of course, yeah. we're going to keep an eye on uh, any wildfires and things like that that do present going through the day tomorrow and the impact. And I know for kids who are still in school, and a lot of them are, they're, you know, we're getting the warning sent home, yep. like make sure they have plenty of water yes. and that they're ready to go. This yeah. is that time of year, and you may have to rearrange your schedule because of yes. the heat. So do strenuous things outside first thing in the morning. And get the yeah. dog out for a walk. Exactly. First thing, yep. Yeah. Thanks, All right. Well, the heat and the wind will certainly have a big impact on firefighters this week, and that's why Andrea Flores is joining us now. I know you've been looking into Cal Fire and how they're right. getting ready. Well, of course, we've seen in Michelle Bandura's story how windy it still is out there, and you have the those dry fuels. So firefighters across the state have been training for these moments. You're dealing with heat. Um, you're dealing with, uh, you know, how long can a firefighter go out there and and work um, and do the hard work uh, for so long before they need to replenish themselves, hydrate again, um, having winds. Uh, how, how fast are the winds, the change of direction of the winds. Uh, so it's, a, it's a firefighter safety concern if, um, if a wind direction were to happen. Are they prepared? Do they have their escape routes? Um, so this is the kind of stuff in the last, um, i say a few weeks, a month, that the firefighters have been trained on. Now, all of the training was put to the test this weekend when the Corral Fire jumped Interstate 580 south of Tracy. That fire burned more than 14,000 acres, but firefighters have gotten a good handle on the fire with containment again at 75% at this point. So we are early in the fire season for this year, but we want to take a look back at the past five years. So here's a look at the acres burned in California since 2019. You can see 2020 and 2021 were major fire years with several fires burning hundreds of thousands of acres. We can't predict those 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 campfires, those Dixie fires when they when they're going to happen. Um, uh, but we can prepare and take a, take the opportunity and take the advantage of when there is no large fires. Crews have been going out and doing prescribed burning uh, shaded fuel breaks throughout the state, um, preparing for in case a large fire were to happen, that we have an area that we can um, slow the fire or stop the fire from spreading into that community that we're trying to protect. Um, so we, we take advantage of, of the seasons that have not been large fires. And of course, uh, you know, every year is different, so we always have to be prepared. And we spoke to Cal Fire crews over the weekend as they were working on the Corral Fire mm -hmm. and continue to work on that containment. And they said, along with their efforts, it's also on the responsibility of residents to be prepared. Yeah. We know things can change quickly, so to have those important documents, to have your pets, to have uh, anything that you might need, any valuables, a go bag, all of those things ready, and to be vigilant in case yeah. you do see that fire activity that can change very quickly. Yeah, and we just heard like a plea for making good decisions and don't start these things yeah. to begin with. So exactly. yeah, and just a big thanks on the front end to firefighters. Mm -hmm. That is tough work. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And another example of their good work happening tonight. We go now to Leanne Denyer. She's live at the Patterson Fire in Alameda County. We've seen this from the air, Leanne. What are you seeing from the ground? We can see that wind is blowing everything around right now. Oh yeah, that was the first thing we noticed as soon as we got out of the car, just how strong the wind was. Um, 
It really was quite undeniable, but I want to show you what we're seeing here on the ground as fire crews are, are working to get this one completely out and contained. You can see just, just straight ahead, there are some flames burning just right up to the roadway here and some CAL FIRE crews who are who are working. Um, I think it's quite, it's quite uh, startling, too, to see just how much uh, burned already. You can see just this entire section uh, of the field that was here is, is just black at this point as that gray smoke does um, dissipate into the air. I want to mention we were um, traveling down five. We were near Lathrop, I believe, when we saw the smoke um, before before making our way over here. Uh, so that just gives you a sense of how how far out people are, are seeing the smoke from these fires uh, in our area. So we want to we're going to keep an eye on things here and uh, continue to monitor this situation as it was looking like a, a very busy week uh, for our fire crews around the region. We'll send it on back to you. All right, Leanne, thank you. We know now from Cal Fire, 99.5 acres burned, 50% containment right now. We did see about four aircraft in the sky and two helicopters dousing those flames earlier on. So they made good work of, of putting out those flames and they're getting containment lines are growing. We have several safety tips on our wildfire ready guide right now that's on the app and make sure you enable push alerts 